All right, so we got another beautiful day on the Finger Lakes here. Um, it's about 50 degrees today, believe it or not. We had a really cold stretch. Everything, all the big water froze up. But uh, now we've had two days, uh, 50 degrees. Uh, we got plenty of ice here. We got a good four or five inches. Uh, it's just a beautiful day. Don't have to worry about your hole freezing up. So uh, Marky's in there. He's inside of me. Uh, he's got a bunch of tip-ups out. Um, we're gonna primarily fish the tip downs today. We might do some jigging. Oh, Marky's got a pickerel in there. We'll go check him out. But uh, I already got the first fish here. Almost as soon as I put this tip down down. And uh, Mr. Perch here. Nice perch. Not huge, but we'll take them. And I uh, just had another one go. So, uh, <clears throat> we got minnows on these, fat heads. And uh, what'll happen is when these get a bite, um, they'll just slowly tip down like that and they'll stay down. And uh, that's how you know you got fish. So we'll keep an eye on these. We might do a little jigging too. Uh, we got four of them out right now. Like I said, we had a couple bites already, so. Uh, got some seagulls creeping around here too. See them. They look like uh, they'll steal my perch if I leave them sitting on the ice, so. I might have to feed them some hot dogs to keep them appeased, we'll see. So, we'll get keep getting set up here and do some fishing. Going here. Yep, we got them. What we get? What we get? What we get? Oh, it's a perch. He's not huge, but we'll take him on the tip down. Nice. Just got out here. We he said this is the hot jig right here. What's it called? I personally call it the fornicator. The fornicator. <laughs> <laughs> the fornicator. Gotta make sure we get a good shot there. You just tickle it a little. Yep. Punctuate that jig and then just bring some of the edge. All right. So he's set up. He's got the Vexlar. Here we get the Got the Vexlar going. 20 feet. He's got the, what do we got there? Cherry Pepsi. Chilling in the other Zero, hole. Zero, yeah. It's a three hole setup here. <clears throat> Margie's getting his exercise in there around the tip ups. He's just a pickerel slayer. Because he's, he's got big, bigger minnows? No, nah, he's just using fat heads. So. You know, mine shit the bed yesterday. I was depressed. What about the truck gave me? Oh, that looks like Adam and his dad coming right there. It's going to be a party now. Glad he brought freaking hot dogs. Okay, so this is the rig we're using. We got, uh, our braided line here is a 60 pound power pro and then we just got a split shot, a bead, and a swivel. Then I got uh, about 15 inches of uh, 6 pound fluorocarbon and then just a little uh, sharp little octopus style hook here and we're uh, just taking a fat head here. Come here, buddy. And, uh, <laughs> Man, my fingers are cold. It's tough to do. Just hooking him just right in the back there. Like that. And uh, dropping it down about a foot off bottom and just waiting. So, water is uh, super clear. Not quite as clear as uh, the last lake we were on there, but. Have you guys been to Port Bay yet this year? No, not yet. Nah, they're keeping quiet, that's why. But yeah, just drop her down to see about a foot off bottom. That's what we've been doing. That's it. Another tip down boy here. Tip down going again. She's down. She's down. 
Got him. Oh man, that feels small though. Oh, that feels dinky. Dinky, dinky perch. Yep, it is too. Look at that little feller. Man, I freaking swallowed it too. Oh. So this is just kind of a different way to fish, guys, instead of sitting and jigging. Uh, especially if it's nice and warm out like it is today, you don't have to worry about the holes freezing. Um, just put a big spread of tip downs, tip ups out. You can just kind of run them. Um, like I said, it's nice to do it on a decent day because you're baiting up a lot usually with minnows and your fingers will freeze if it's really cold, but um, these tip downs I just made myself. Um, got a little woodworking skill. There's lots of plans online for them. And uh, pretty simple, just some wood, a dowel rod. Got, bought these little reels, they were cheap. So, pretty simple. Uh, I got, I caught one good one on that, that third one, but it's all, well, most of the bites have been right here. Yeah. Hits it again. Yep, there it goes. Just touched it. Come on, baby. Take it. and I still got a minnow on there because I can oh dang it man he was there too I bet you he just ripped my minnow off <laughs> oh man I felt him but I missed him